Hey guys, what's up? It's me, your girl Elisa from StylishCurves.com, and today I'm back with a new video. So today's video is going to be a mini MAC haul. So I felt like I was doing pretty good after my Sephora mega haul and my Ulta Beauty haul um, back in April. So I was really good, and I was like, I'm not going out, I'm not gonna buy any more makeup, like I'm done, I'm gonna just wear what I have, and just, you know, possibly wait until the fall to get new makeup. Well, <laughs> I didn't hold out as long as I wanted to, but I still think I did pretty good. So this um, is just going to be a very small MAC haul. I really don't shop in MAC the way like I used to. Now I kind of just go into MAC anytime. Like if I see a YouTube video and somebody is wearing a lipstick that I'm like, oh, I never saw that in MAC. I want to try that. Um, so that's really like when I do go in there and then I do look at whenever they have collections just to kind of see if I'm interested in the collections. Sometimes the um, limited edition collections I feel like they aren't always um, you know brown girl friendly especially sometimes with the blushes and any of um, like the bronzes and stuff I feel like they don't work well for you know darker skin tones um, you know maybe they do but I just don't know how to work them you know again I'm not a makeup artist I'm just a girl who likes makeup so um, I just feel like sometimes the collections don't work out but this time I went and I saw the um, I think it was the laundry collection the wash and dry collection something like that so um they didn't have a lot of stuff that i thought was flattering for my skin tone but they did have a couple of lipsticks and lip glosses that i tried i also wanted to get some of the new foundation that they came out with and then i just got a couple of lip colors so this is going to be a super duper quick mac haul so if you're interested to see what i got then stay tuned Alright guys, let's dig in. So the first thing I got from MAC is what I was dying, which I initially was supposed to be the only thing <laughs> I was supposed to get from MAC, is their new Pro Long Wear Nourishing Waterproof Foundation. So I saw um, the advertisement for this um, through, um, you know, when you get those little emails, newsletters <laughs> from MAC, and I saw this and I was like, hmm waterproof foundation that sounds like something i need especially in the summertime or even sometimes in the spring when we get those like high mid to high 80 degree weather days i was like i need that as an oily skin person i need that so i was like okay let me just go in and you know just probably like try to shade match myself and maybe get a sample but then i was like you know what um let me watch some videos. So that's one of the reasons why I love YouTube because you can always find a video of someone in your complexion or, you know, close to it that kind of gets the jump on some, you know, new item reviews. So I saw a couple of people review this. I haven't seen anyone um, like my shade or darker review it. I've seen probably like more NW45s review it, but not like NW50s or 48s, things, um, those shades. So anyway... Um, I decided to try it. This is the shade. I got the shade NW50. The lady in MAC was saying you could get NW45 because it does oxidize and it's going to, you know, turn darker. When they say oxidize, it's going to turn darker once it, you know, settles on your skin. But I feel like whenever you go into MAC, everyone is like your... Anytime they see a brown girl, they're like your NW45. And I'm just like, no, boo. Every brown girl is not NW45. So I was like, you know what? I'm going to get the NW50. So anyway, it is a Pro Long Wear Nourishing Waterproof Foundation. I was going to do a separate review on it. If you guys are interested, let me know in the comments below. But so far, I really, 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 to the 10th power love this foundation i've been wearing it literally every day since i had it and i've had it about two weeks now and this sucker stays on my face literally for i wear my makeup on an average day for a full eight to nine hours and this is still intact on my face so i really love the foundation and I'm just going to show you. I mean, I didn't check to see if it was waterproof. But I did know, notice like on a day where it was super warm and I was breaking out in a sweat, like the foundation didn't budge. And that's what the NW50 looks like. Next thing I got was the Pro Long Wear Powder Pressed um powder press press powder <laughs> i can't talk so they came out with um new press powders and i got the pro long wear press powder and this is in the shade 
dark deep and I'll show you what it looks like and at first I was like is that gonna work for me I thought maybe it would be too light again I'm very like picky about stuff like that so um the the lady in Mac who helped me she was like no this is gonna be perfect so basically I use this to set my foundation and I like to use it with the um pro long wear waterproof foundation I think they work really well together um I've been wearing this probably for a week so far. It's nice and smooth. Um, it's not heavily pigmented. It's just like a nice powder to set your foundation. So I do like it. Um, I will say that because I am oily, I do notice that maybe after like probably seven hours that you do start to see this move and kind of like crumble just a little bit not as much as that makeup forever did for me but i but it was like just a little bit but other than that i have no problem with this this was a pretty good um pressed powder and i definitely like to use it with the foundation all right so the next thing i got let's see what's in here oh i did pick up a couple of lipsticks and a lip liner so I'll start with the i did pick up a liner in bittersweet and it's just um one of the this is a pro long wear lip pencil and um i got it in bittersweet which is just a regular brown it's a tad bit lighter than um chestnut chestnut is my all-time favorite lip liner from mac but sometimes i do feel like chestnut is just too dark and it really changes the color of some um some of some of the lipsticks that i pair it with so i just wanted something that was like literally a shade lighter and um, I saw a YouTuber had a, a YouTuber mentioned the bittersweet as an alternative to the chestnut, and so I picked it up and I pretty much you know like it as well. And again, it's just a lighter shade than chestnut. The next thing I picked up was a couple of lippies. So I did pick up Del Rio. I'll show you what that looks like. And this is just kind of like. Um, a, a nude colored lipstick. I would say it's like a mauve brownish kind of color. And I'll swatch it so you can see what it looks like. It comes out more mauve, like a, a mauve pink. If you guys can see that. That's what that looks like. I also picked up another shade called New York Apple. And this is, um, it's like a... What do I want to call that? I always want to say iridescent. It's like a pearlescent kind of reddish pink color. And this is a frost finish from MAC. It, it looks more like a cranberry than red. That's the color I want to say. It looks more like a cranberry color than a red color. And it's this color right here. So I picked that up. And then the next thing I picked up was... Um, cream in your coffee. Cream in your coffee is definitely a nude pinky, light pink kind of color. And I definitely line my lips with this one. This looks good with the bittersweet liner because again, it's not too dark. It's like a perfect, the bittersweet and this is a perfect combination. And so that's what cream in your coffee looks like. And then let's see what else I got. Um, I did pick up another lipstick. I picked up the Viva Glam, what is this, 4? Um, I think that's what that Roman numeral is. <laughs> uh, Viva Glam 4. And it's also kind of like a cranberry color, but it's a little bit lighter. And I actually love this color without a lip liner. Like, I like how it looks just putting it on my lips. It looks really nice. And it's just like a nice neutral color, you know, just to wear on a daily basis. And then, as I said, I did pick up um, a few lipsticks and um, lip glosses from the Wash and Dry collection. I hope I'm saying it right. Yeah, it's like the Laundry Wash and Dry collection. I love the packaging. It's so pretty. It's so cute. And um, this is a lip gloss. And this is in the shade... Uh, what is this? This is in the shade Hot Cold. And isn't it so pretty? I love the packaging on this. Very kind of like 1970s psychedelic. And I'm just going to swatch that for you. That's what it looks like. It's just a nice um, pinkish kind of color. Like a fruit punch color, I want to call it. And so it's it's also pigmented, um, as you can see. So the shade, so how it looks on my wrist is definitely how it looks on your lips. 
And then the next thing I got was Laundry List. It's another lip glass. Um, and it's kind of like, it's an orange, not kind of. It's, it's like an orange coral color. And I got this one in the shade, this is called Laundry List. So I got this one because sometimes, um, even like with the orange lip gloss that I have on now, this is Anastasia. But sometimes I just, again, don't want to have to always put on a liner. So I picked up this one because I felt like it was a nice sheer orange. And it wasn't so bold that I needed a liner to tone it down. So I feel like I would be comfortable enough to just wear this without a liner. You know, we'll see. But in the store, it looked nice. But you know, the lighting is completely different. So I haven't played with it at home yet. I'm going to play around with it and just see and let you guys know. I'll probably post a picture on Instagram or something. But yeah, this shade is called Laundry List. And it's just like a sheer um, orange coral lip glass. The last thing I got from MAC was... Um, another uh, thing from their wash and dry collection and this is a satin lipstick and this is called steam heat this color is the, is a limited edition color and it's just like an orangey red now normally I don't do orange reds if, if you guys follow me for you know from the beginning you know I always get reds that are blue based because I found that those work best for my complexion and my skin tone uh, I'm going to try to swatch this one. It's called Steam Heat, and again, it's like an orange, a orange red. So if you like Lady Danger, I think it's similar to it. It's not exact, but it's similar to it. So um, this is the Steam Heat, and again, it's a limited edition color. So I thought it looked pretty nice. I thought it was pretty, so I definitely look forward to playing around with this and seeing how that looks. And that's it. As I told you guys, it was going to be a super duper quick um, MAC haul. Hope you guys enjoyed it. Let me know if you tried any of these colors that I mentioned. Um, leave a comment below and let me know. How did you pair any of the lipsticks that I mentioned or the lip glass? Did you get anything from the new wash and dry collection? Definitely let me know because I do read the comments and things that you suggest I do try and have tried. So um, remember to check out the blog, stylishcurse.com, and you can follow me on Instagram, Twitter, and Facebook, all under at stylishcurse, and I will see you guys in my next video. Bye!